Yo, what's up guys, and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you the log bait deck which I found to be the best right now. If you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. So, I'm against this guy here, he has Night Witch and Tornado. He's going to go for a Goblin Barrel on the right. I have Double Barrel Log Bait here, haven't played this deck in like, I think at least a year. Maybe at like the beginning of the year I played it, but I haven't played this deck in a very long time, or even a deck similar to it, because I don't really like Double Barrel Log Bait, but... You need, like, the Skeleton Barrel in this meta because you need that extra win condition up. You deal damage since the Goblin Barrel did get nerfed a little bit. I'm going to pop the ability here just to get a little bit of damage on the tower. Okay, nice. And you need the extra barrel because you don't, like, have enough pressure because Goblin Barrel is pretty weak. So you can ignore it a lot of the time or you're not going to get a lot of damage from it. So you need the extra barrel. And just like that, I actually ended up taking his tower, so that's nice. Oh, and the Ice Spirit's tanking for the left side, so... Pretty much got his left side tower down too. I'm gonna try to defend this eagle and push here. I'm gonna go for a dark goblin in the back here. No ice spirit here, and you also have like the monk in here because he's like a pretty solid card. Like, I wouldn't say he's broken or anything, but he's definitely solid, and I definitely like want to have him in a deck as well just to try it out, and especially in log bait as well because you, I want to figure out what the best log bait deck's going to be and right now this is the one I think's the best but I'm not really sure but I think I'm going to be starting off the video with the three crowns so that's nice um yeah I don't think this guy's um going to keep playing this and if he if he does it's going to be kind of annoying because there's obviously no way that he can win from here right now I'm playing in like the ranked ladder mode but I'm not very high I'm only in like rank number four or whatever because I haven't been really playing the ranked mode that much because to be honest I don't really enjoy the update too much but I'm going to be pushing up trying to get ultimate champion in the next few days like the highest league like ultimate champion still the highest league and I'm going to be trying to get there within the next few days and figure out which log bait deck is the best 100% so make sure to look forward for that and yeah I'm against this guy here account three okay just going to start off with a goblin barrel in the corner because they could still have tornado Okay, he goes for a princess and a zap, so I'm just going to go for a log here on that princess, just because I don't want to deal with it anymore. Goblin's ready if he has a goblin barrel, but he has zap, so maybe he doesn't have goblin barrel. It could be like a hog rider deck. Gonna goblins at the bridge here. Okay, he goes minions and musketeer. It's going to go for a dark goblin for the minions, and then I can go for like an ice spirit on the musketeer. I could do like a monk as well. Gonna skeleton barrel on the right, though. Alright, just going to go for a monk here on the musk. He has a fireball zap. Alright, I'm gonna go for a goblin barrel here, and I'm gonna go for the ability as well. I tried to time it so it would deflect right away at the princess, so now it's not gonna kill it with the ability. You have to time your abilities well if you want to kill cards like princess, because they, they don't shoot very fast, so you have to time it properly so the um, monk can shoot it back twice. But there, I tried to be a little bit fancy and like deflect it at like the perfect timing, and it would have looked kind of cool. This guy's fireball zap logged us, that's kind of annoying gonna be a little bit tricky to break through but it's gonna go goblins and skeleton barrel here because he doesn't have log in hand okay, he's probably just gonna zap this yeah but now i can just go for my inferno tower i don't know why he zapped so early i'm gonna get a little bit of chip damage because of that just gonna go for an inferno tower here on the giant and then i'm gonna go dark goblin in the middle here for the minions all right gonna go ice spirit here on the musketeer i'm just gonna let that musketeer get the shot on the tower maybe even two shots yeah i'm gonna let that happen and just gonna go for goblin barrel here on the left and then we go for a late skeleton barrel once i can force up the log and yeah now he has no fireball and no zaps this should get a lot of damage gonna goblins as well behind this nice okay princess is gonna shoot the goblins too but it's not gonna shoot them like quick enough to stop all that damage nice okay i just got a lot of damage so just gonna go for a log here on the princess okay just gonna go for an ice spirit goblin barrel here to keep up the pressure it should be tower. Yeah, that's tower. Okay, I don't know what those minions were. He put them so far back. He's gonna have monk here in the corner. Honestly, in this deck, the monk isn't really like a crazy card where you like always shoot stuff back to their tower. It's kind of just like a tank where like here it's gonna kill the musketeer. Um, like yeah, it's shooting back at the musketeer, and it's a really good tank because when you use the ability, it only takes twenty percent damage of what it should be using. So if they use like an archer queen on it and the ability. The ability will only do 20% damage, and if you um use the deflect ability, then it will just kill the whole archer queen and barely take any damage. So definitely like a very, very solid card, even if you're not throwing stuff back at the opponent, you're still like getting some really, really nice um trades on defense, and they still have to defend it, and it does a lot of damage 
on the tower as well if left ignored for a little bit and it also does a pretty good job at defending like small tanks like giant it's not amazing against giant but like if you pair it with like goblins or something then it has good dps that's why i have goblins in here goblins plus monk do a lot a lot of damage so always nice to have like a combo to kill tanks without using your building gonna go for ice spear goblin barrel here against this guy okay he goes for log so he saw that it was in the front so that was well played he put it right in the front didn't really change anything but it's always cool when people see where the goblin barrel are just gonna dark goblin and skeleton barrel on the left here doesn't have log okay i was thinking it might be expo for a second but he has this that's gonna get some good damage he doesn't have log yeah nice i'm just gonna kite the phoenix over with a monk oh he has another one just get inferno tower here and then i'm gonna go for goblins off to the side all right that's gonna kill the egg and then we'll kill the miner as well i'm gonna go for a monk at the bridge just to apply some pressure because he did spend a lot of elixir there Okay, let's see what he does. Okay, he goes log. I'm just gonna goblin barrel here. He doesn't have enough for the uh, fireball. He's gonna take a lot of damage here. I'm gonna pop the ability too. It will shove the bomber's bomb back to the tower. So I'm just gonna get a lot of damage. Nice. It's like stuff like that. Like it was splat. Like the bomb was hitting it, but since the bomber was on the tower, it, the the monkey just like threw it back onto the tower, and he was splashing his own tower. That's good. I thought he would um, go for the E-Spirit there, so I tried to prediction log the E-Spirit, but he went for cannon, so that was well played on his end. Looking really good for me, though, as long as I don't, like, choke or anything like that, I should win this game. Let's see. Okay, he goes for Phoenix, so I'm just going to go for a Dark Goblin. You also have to have Dark Goblin in this deck. Princess is going to be really, really bad this season because Princess just doesn't do enough damage to be able to kill the Monk. You know, Ice Spirit and Inferno Tower here, but you need to have the Dark Goblin to be able to kill the the phoenix it just like it just doesn't do enough damage like the princess it doesn't shoot fast enough hopefully that doesn't blow up my dark goblin oh perfect all right so that's dead i'm gonna go for a trick barrel here and then i'm gonna get a dark goblin at the bridge as well he won't be able to hit both of them with the log so nice okay that's tower okay so i just have to defend for another minute but it can get really tricky if they spam a lot of phoenixes down he's gonna go for an inferno tower here all right just gonna go for a monk here, I guess, to help tank for the phoenixes for a little bit. He's gonna miner on the inferno tower already. Now I'm gonna ability here just to try to block some hits. I'm gonna ice spirit here. Gonna go for skelly barrel to block some hits. I'm gonna log for the egg. I'm gonna dark goblin here. Okay, he already has three down, and he's gonna spawn some more because of the eggs. Skelly barrel here to tank. Goblins on top, try to kill it. No, it spawned. Log to kill that one. Bro, that one spawned too. All the three phoenix eggs I tried to kill, they all came back. But I'll just kite them the other lane, and then I can just go for an Inferno Tower here on this one. Yeah, even though all three of them still came back, I still won, because usually these decks don't have, like, crazy pressure cards, so I was still able to, like, take some negative trades. Bro, there's n <laughs> there's no way that just spawned back. But, okay, it's fine, though. I still won. There's no point to really complain, but it's crazy how, like, they kept spawning back because everything's tanking for them, so you can't kill it. All right, I'm against this guy here. Just going to go for a Skeleton Barrel on the left, and then going to go for Ice Spirit here. My favorite starting play with this deck is definitely Skeleton Barrel, because Skeleton Barrel, I feel like it's a bit more, like, demanding of a spell, and it's definitely easier to counter through spells, so I like to put that instead of Goblin Barrel, because then if they waste their Log or Zap on the Skeleton Barrel, then I can just go for a Goblin Barrel, and it's a little bit more annoying to stop, I feel like. Because usually with the skeleton barrel, you can just kill this, the barrel itself, and then the skeletons will get cleaned up by whatever you use to kill the the barrel. Okay, he has a log, archer queen, hog. Um, Definitely going to be like a hog earthquake deck. Just going to go for a skeleton barrel off to the side here. And probably archer queen again. Oh, I guess he's just going to fire spirit. All right, that's fine. I'm going to get a little, a little bit of chip there. I'm going to ice spirit here. All right, going to dark up. Oh, that was annoying timing. Just going to monk here and then go for the ability. Honestly, I should put the monk lower. I should definitely put the monk lower so then it doesn't have an, as much time to use the ability. I'm going to goblins here, try to bait out the log. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go double barrel here right when I can. He has a really bad hand for this. Goblin barrel, skelly barrel. He's going to fire spirit plus something to kill the first barrel. Oh, he messed it up. Okay, nice. And the skelly barrel is going to go crazy too. I'm just going to defend the mini peck with an inferno tower. Because if he tries to go for a hog opposite lane, I'll just use the ice spirit to push it in. If you have an inferno tower opposite lane and they go hog on the opposite lane of your inferno tower, then if you have like a card like 
right here and you put it right when they hog then it will just push it straight to the inferno tower instead of going go to the tower so that's always a good tip to know not always will they go for the hog opposite of the inferno tower but if they do it's really good i'm just gonna go for a monk into the archer queen here should pretty much cancel it out I'm gonna go for a, i'm gonna get ready with a dark ob he's definitely gonna hog yeah dark ob ice spirit log will full counter the hog so I'm not gonna take any damage there just log to make sure it full counters and then skelly barrel goblin barrel here Okay, Goblin Rail now, and then he's going to have to waste Fire Spirit. This is going to be really bad for him. Inferno Tower here. Nice. Skelly Barrel's on tower. Okay, Inferno Tower's just going to clean up Dog. I'm going to go for another Skeleton Barrel here just to keep up the pressure. The only way he can defend Skelly Barrels is like a late Fire Spirit or a Log, because usually he doesn't have his Archer Queen in cycle to like kill the Barrel, so usually just pops on his tower every time. All right, I'm just going to go for Dark Goblin here. I'm going to go for Ice Spirit. I'm gonna go for Goblin Barrel Log. I'm gonna take this Hog hit because I just want to finish off his tower. But it's definitely better because I don't have a big spell. So if I have an opportunity to take out the tower, I definitely want to do that. I'm just gonna set up an Inferno Tower here to make sure he can't do anything. Gonna Goblins and Ice Spirit for the Hog Rider. I didn't ex really expect him to keep on like playing, so I didn't push it to the Inferno Tower. I would have showed you guys. It's kind of annoying that like he kept like I didn't know that he'd keep on playing because if he did, then I would have had the the stuff hovered and I would have been able to push it to the Inferno Tower and show you how it works. I'm in the next game here against Joe. Just gonna start off with a skeleton barrel here. Okay. See what he does. Probably just gonna use a spell. Yeah, use his zap. So now I'm gonna go Ice Spirit Goblin Barrel. This is what I mean. Like now it's much more annoying to stop this. He has to just Mega Minion on it, and that gets so much damage. Okay, nice. Just gonna go for a Dark Goblin here on the Mega Minion. Skelly drags, so looks like it's lava. Fireball, so wait. <laughs> wait, what a fireball. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna go all in here. He can't defend now. He didn't kill anything with the fireball. He's wasted his best goblin barrel counter, his best dark goblin counter. Yeah, he already lost. <laughs> this guy is definitely not gonna be happy knowing that that's why he lost a game. And he wasted the mega minion just to still lose his tower, and now he has no elixir, so now he can't even use like anything to his advantage. Like he can't even use a small elixir lead that he could have had, because now he's down an elixir and down the tower. So honestly, he's probably just gonna give up, right? the goblins here see if he doesn't defend this he definitely gave up okay yeah he gave up just gonna skelly barrel here then i'm just gonna dark goblin monk in the pocket with like a goblin barrel monk and then just i guess goblin barrel in the king tower dark goblin so i guess that was a pretty nice game there um he missed a fireball <laughs> and then completely gave up honestly if he kept on playing maybe he would have been able to win this matchup it's good but at the same time it's really difficult to defend skelly drags and you have no rocket for the balloon it definitely could have got a little bit tricky actually that might not even be my matchup thinking about it lava skelly drags zap the inferno and balloon is like very hard to kill because you only have dark goblin it's not like you can inferno tower on the balloon that could definitely be his but in the next game here it's gonna go for a goblin barrel in the corner oh he goes ram rider first play just gonna goblins plus log here for it okay has bar barrel and ram rider so probably like a pekka or a mega knight deck okay i'm just gonna activate my king tower here off this bandit ba dark goblin ice spirit like that and it'll activate your king tower okay so archer queen as well so i'm gonna put the monk lower this time last time i put the monk really high i'm just gonna pop the ability now and yeah my monk has way more hp this time than it did last time and if i like knew he had an archer queen and had it hovered down low then i would have taken like almost no damage on it so that's definitely something really important. I'm gonna Goblin Barrel on the right here. Just have some nice dual lane pressure. I'm gonna Ability as well. Aw, oh, I thought he would like go for like a spell on this, but I don't know how I'm supposed to defend this now. Okay, just gonna Goblins here. Oh, well, I was gonna activate my King Tower, but now I can't. I'm gonna Inferno Tower here. I was gonna, I was gonna go uh, Ice Spirit to activate my King, but... Well, not activate it, but like bring it to my King, but I couldn't because he did that a log here so i guess i save my tower all right okay never mind i'm just gonna go skelly barrel and if he has a way to deal with the skeleton barrel skeletons and i lost my tower okay yeah maybe i could goblins here he doesn't have enough for the ability maybe oh he did have enough for the ability so that's tower i was just hoping to get lucky and keep my tower to be honest because that would have been really good to keep my tower because making them waste spells to finish off your tower is very huge like especially when you're playing log bait if they have to waste spells just gonna go for a goblin barrel here on the left i can still definitely win um in the two tower situations because 
No, like he has like a lightning or anything or something crazy. And if I apply really good pressure, like with my skeleton barrels and stuff, it can still be like annoying for him to play out. So I'm definitely not like too, too worried. Gonna monk here for the bandit. I don't know why he did the bandit in the pocket. That was kind of random. I'm gonna skelly barrel here. And also, what was that Mega Knight? I'm gonna ability here so it can tank more hits and then goblins right away. That, that That's like the thing. The monk is really good on tanking because when you use the ability, it takes less damage from attacks. So like, then you can get like, for example, like I did there, you can get your goblins behind it. And then your goblins have a lot more time to deal damage. The only bad part is that when it comes out of the ability, after three hits, it'll push it back and end up killing your goblins. But other than that though, like the ability is still really good to tank. Like it was good on the archer queen there, just tanked the archer queen completely and then killed it as well. Goblin barrel here should get some, okay, never mind. Just gonna go for, I guess, an ability here. Try to get a little bit of chip damage back on the tower. Okay, nice. Gonna go for a Dark Goblin here. I wanna start a little bit in the back because he does have that Inferno Tower up. Gonna log it here, that should finish it off. And that inf that Mega Knight was really aggressive. This should get a lot of damage here. Okay, what does he have? Bar Barrel, Zap. Okay, I'm just gonna Inferno Tower right away. Oh, why would you Bandit the, what? Why would you bandit the pocket when your Mega Knight's all the way back in the other lane on the other side of the map? What would that bandit the pocket ever do? Okay, I, I guess it doesn't matter. That bandit just made no sense. And I, just, I got kind of annoyed because it ended up blocking my Inferno Tower. I Spirit. Oh, I didn't get it down. It's going to log here. I'm not really worried. It's not going to. Oh, okay, that's going to take my tower or anything. Um, I'm just going to go for a Dark Goblin in the pocket here because he wanted to be weird with the Archer Queen and the bandit the pocket. See if I'll get his. Okay, nice. Um. <laughs> you couldn't react in time. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next video with maybe even a better log bit deck. I'll, I'll keep testing. Bye.